Welcome back guys. Uh, this is kind of part two of our old Fitzgerald 80 proof bonanza. <laughs> bonanza. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we did the neat review, um, you know, you guys can check that out. We'll post a link to that somewhere on the screen. And uh, today we're going to do the Manhattan. Correct. So, here, talk to them. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, so, I mean, going back to our original um, mission statement, we are still trying to find what whiskey makes the best Manhattan. Um, we tried this neat. And it wasn't good. It was four and a half. Um, sort of a spoiler alert. But... No, you're not supposed to tell them that. <laughs> um, they're going to find out anyways after watching the entire video. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... Never mind. You keep talking. So we are still committed to finding which, which uh, whiskey makes the best Manhattan. And so even though with our past results, like things that haven't scored well, neat, have not typically gone on to do well in a Manhattan, we are still going through our process, not expecting much from this, but hoping for a lot from it. Because well, we, we, haven't ha we haven't had a low proof anything that was good in the Manhattan yet. I think that maybe the best was something in the 90 proof range. Uh, yeah. 80 proof is pretty low. It just doesn't really hold up well to um, the vermouth, the dilution, and the bitters. It, it just needs more punch. We right. haven't found yet. Can I get the uh, the bucket of ice? Yes. Go Vikings. Yep. Again, you know, uh, I'm going to use my hands. May or may not have washed them before this. So if that bothers you, look away. Tune out. Or leave a comment. Just the ice fish over here. Yeah. All right. And we're going to stir. Yeah. So just so you guys know, we make these drinks for our own consumption. And neither one of us gives a shit if we touch the ice. So if that's a thing that triggers you, then, hey, man. You tuned into the wrong station. You turned into the wrong damn station. <laughs> All right. There's a shitload of ice in there. And actually, since it's only 80 proof, I'm going to start a little less than I usually do. All right. Look at that color. Not really. I think the uh, ver the vermouth actually darkened that up quite a bit. Yeah, it's light. Can you hand me the cherries? Right there. I'm not reaching down there to hand you cherries. I look awkward. I might enjoy it though. It's not Just that saying. kind of show. Mm, you sure? It could be if it gets us a few subs. Hey. I like ham and cheese. What's that mean? Subs. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Stupid, stupid dad humor. All right. Uh, yeah. So, what are you smelling? A whole lot of... Not I smell vermouth. Yeah. It's, it's like a bourbon, bourbon flavored vermouth. Yeah. It's just... Anyway, taste yeah. it. Yeah. I feel like this is going to be quick and dirty too. Yeah, that's that's not good at all. I mean, it's, it's fine, but it's just as far as anything in a Manhattan, it has absolutely no burn to it. The after the aftertaste is horrible. All you taste is vermouth. Yeah, and it's just watered down. It's not great. Mm-hmm. Well. I might as well just, this, is, this is actually like more like a four, three and a half. I wouldn't even waste my time on this bottle in a Manhattan. Yeah. Um, I'm good with a three and a half. Okay. It's low. It's bad. Two thumbs down. However, no Manhattan left behind. No Manhattan left behind. One sip. Nobody knows these fools. Uh, awful. Awful. And we're out.